Today, much of the parity and talking point is centered on how to counter the growing terrorism and insurgent groups in Nigeria in order to restore security of lives and property. Countering terrorism has become, without any doubt, the top national security priority of the Buhari administration. The nation has committed huge national resources to countering terrorism and insurgency as never before, yet nothing has continued, you know, to get better. Things have been getting even more worse than it was before. This trend has never occurred before in our nation's history. Nigeria is facing a sudden crisis and summon tremendous amounts of national energy with the rise of Boko Haram insurgency and military groups scattered around every nook and cranny of Nigeria. As the surge transforms the landscape of our nations, then comes the time for reflections and re-evaluation. Some programs and even agencies are discarded, others need to be invented or redesigned. Now is the time for that invention and revaluation that many citizens are now proposing to the government to you know the need to turn to the space satellite technology as a veritable tool for tracking and containing these malices. In the world today, threats are defined by the fourth line rather than the boundaries between them. From terrorism to global diseases or environmental degradation, the challenges have become transnational rather than international. That is the defining quality of world politics in the 21st century. As stated earlier, the country needs to reinvent its strategy of countering these criminal elements. It is generally agreed that for the strategy of countering insurgency and other forms of criminality to be successful, we need to devise a means of tracking these terrorists through satellite technology. As it stands today, Nigeria needs four additional satellites to successfully track insurgents. How do you trace or track the movement of terrorists, bandits, and insurgents who have acclimatized themselves in the many enclaves of bandits scattered across the nooks and crownings of Nigeria? The answer is for our country to turn the satellite technology as the only panacea to help us trace and track the movement of these terrorists. It is true that the Director General, National Space Research and Development Agency, NAS RDA, Dr. Alihu Ahmed Shaba, has consistently voiced out that the number of satellites currently deployed into space by the country is not enough to trace and track the movements of insurgents in the federal government's efforts to fight the menace of terrorism and banditry across the country. The inability of Buhari's administration to successfully and quickly clamp down on those criminal elements by tracking their movements can be attributed to inadequate satellite provision. The Director General, who is an advocate of synergy through interagency cooperation, has consistently appealed for more satellites for the country as this world, you know, this would go a long way in making the movement of this criminal element easier to locate. The activities of these insurgents are not properly monitored because Nigeria has two satellites doing two different things at the same time. The insurgents now even use walking talking to carry out their nefarious activities when the satellites are away from Nigeria. 
Nigeria today could only boast of a high resolution imaging satellite and a medium resolution imaging satellite. And this is not enough as it is on record that the GSM, you know, the insurgents, pardon, who do not use GSM because of the fear of being tracked, now carry out their nefarious activities when the satellites are away from the border. Now, Nigeria needs the satellites to combat crimes and no country can live in denial of the potential and capabilities of the satellites as a veritable tool to locate and disseminate criminal elements quickly. We have to deploy the NECOMSATS R1 in the fight against terrorism and we can do more as a country to assist its efficacies more by adding more satellites. It is worrisome also that Nigeria's satellite is outdated and working only by lock. The satellite, which was installed in 2011, has a lifespan of seven years. This is the time in the annal of our country that security is first. The government therefore needs to spare any effort in ensuring that Nigerians are safe by investing in the lives and future of the people by getting new satellites for the country. Though the administration has highlighted having or building new satellites to change the old one as a priority, but the dwindling resources of the country as a factor for the delay in building and having new ones is a valid excuse based on facts on ground. The challenges around us at this time makes the call for having new ones inevitable. The government must think out of the box. As the security challenge confronting our country becomes complex, more questions about the security of the country comes to mind. What is the role and the use of NASRDA in the security architecture of Nigeria? The government needs to assist the NASDRA to synergize with the security agencies by getting more satellites for the agency. What is your thought about this that has been said? What is your own reaction to this present situation of things? We would like you to drop your thought and reaction via the comment section according to what has been said. We have seen the reason why Nigeria have not been able to track terrorists and bandits. Said it is as a result of lack of enough satellites. Imagine Nigeria having two satellites doing two different jobs at the frame and at the same time carrying carrying out two different assignments at the same time and it is said that these two satellites are even outdated it was installed 2011 and it has a lifespan of seven years what is your thought about this we would like you to drop your thought and reaction via the comment section on this planet development but before we go let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this Kingsley on the BC reacted to this and said, Too much grammar for a question which is a simple, very simple to answer. Just simply put, Nigeria under Muhammad Buhari doesn't want to track them. Full stop. What is your thought about this? Obviously, the government of Nigeria knows what it ought to have done to be able to curb all this, but they have not done it, according to what Kingsley has said. He said, We have just been speaking grammar. The best way to put this is that the Buhari administration does not want to track the bandit, does not want to track the terrorist. Full stop. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this? Do you think it's by building new satellites that the bandit and terrorist can be tracked? Do you think negotiating with other nations can also be another means of getting these people tracked? I would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction on this plane development. We have seen the reason why Nigeria cannot track down the terrorists and bandits because they have failed to install enough satellites. We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.